Um, in this example, uh, we're shown the graph of a constant function uh, called g. Um, so here's the graph, and uh, we just want to write down a formula for uh, this function. Now, uh, the reason that uh, the function g is called the constant function is uh, notice that um, uh, no matter what input we use uh, for the function uh, g, uh, the output always remains uh, constant. Uh, in, this, in this case, the output is always going to be uh, 10. Uh, so for instance, uh, g of minus 10, notice that uh, is going to give us an output of uh, 10. Um, or g of 0, uh, that will also give us an output of uh, 10. Um, or g of 5, for instance, um, that will also uh, give us an output of uh, 10. So no matter what input we use here, um, the matching output is always the same. Um, it's 10. Um, now, the graphs of uh, constant functions uh, turn out to be horizontal lines. Um, that's pretty easy to um, imagine why that is true, uh, why the graphs of constant functions are horizontal lines. Um, but nevertheless, uh, constant functions are linear functions. So uh, uh, in writing down the formula for uh, this constant function, we want to keep that in mind. Uh, remember, uh, the formula uh, for this function is going to fit uh, the format for a um, linear uh, function. And remember, uh, the format for a linear function formula um, is always uh, uh, a coefficient times x. Uh, that coefficient is the slope uh, times the input variable. Um, in this case, that's x and then plus a constant, uh, and that constant, of course, is the same as the um, y-intercept. So um, all we have to do to write down the formula for this linear function, um, this constant linear function, is to um, uh, fill in the value for the slope and to fill in the value for the uh, y-intercept. Well, as we mentioned in one of our prior examples, uh, because um, uh, this uh, line is a horizontal line, um, the graphs of constant functions or horizontal lines, uh, then its slope is going to be uh, zero. Horizontal lines always have a slope of uh, zero. So uh, it's very easy there to just fill in uh, the slope uh, for this um, constant function. Uh, it's going to be zero. And of course, remember the constant in our linear function formula is the same as the y-intercept. Um, and we can see uh, in this example that the y-intercept is going to be zero. Uh, we noted that actually previously, remember the y-intercept is the output that matches an input of zero, and we already evaluated an input of zero here, and notice that the matching output was 10. Uh, g of zero is 10. Obviously, this uh, 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 function crosses the y-axis at uh, 10. That this function graph crosses the y-axis at 10. Um, so our y-intercept here uh, is going to be uh, 10. So we can fill that into our linear function formula, and um, there's the result. So um, the uh, formula for g is going to be uh, very simple here. It's just going to simplify to a constant uh, 10. Um, there's another reason why uh, constant functions are referred to uh, as constant functions, uh, because uh, the uh, formula for constant functions uh, turns out to be exceedingly simple. Uh, it doesn't even involve the input variable. It's just a uh, constant. So. Um, to simplify here just a little bit, uh, here's our formula for uh, the function g. Um, it's just the constant uh, 10. Notice it does not involve uh, the input variable, does not show up in the formula. Uh, so no matter what input uh, we use here to the function g, the matching output is always going to be the same. Uh, it's just going to be 10.